top of the floor. Yeah. Once you go above your own leg, to complete him, 
and a union that no one has yet to fully understand the mystery of a union between a man and a woman in the sight of God. And Phil and Peggy, we learn from this, that marriage is more than a ritual. It's more than a business contract. That marriage is a covenant before holy God. That it is a union between a man and a woman for life in the sight of God. So as you enter into this covenant, may you not do so lightly, but may you do so in the love and in the fear of God. For as you share your vows one to another, to God our words are binding contracts. And our words are our truth that we share. And God will hold us to our vows. And the Bible says be careful when you vow a vow to God, lest you break them. So God wants these vows. These are not just mere words that we say, but these are promises that we make from our hearts to one another in the sight of God. Phil, will you receive Peggy as a gift from the Lord given to complete you? Will you love her as Christ has loved the church? Will you provide for her, protect her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others remain faithful unto her so long as you both shall live? I will. Peggy, will you receive Philip as a gift from the Lord, given to complete you? Will you submit yourself to him as unto the Lord? Will you love him and comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain faithful unto him so long as you both shall live? Who gives this woman to be joined to this man? Her mother and I. It's not a love that says, well, you meet my needs and I'll love you. 
And when you stop meeting my needs, I'll stop loving you. This is not the type of love that the world knows about. This is a love that comes from a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And when you come to the end of your love, you've only come to an opportunity for the beginning of His love in your lives. So learn to go to Him. Learn to go to Him when there's hurt and ask for forgiveness and to learn to forgive. Learn to go to Him when you're tired and you feel like you've loved and loved and loved and you're out of your love. Learn to go to Him for forgiveness. Love comes from God. And God will fill you for there's no end to His love. Phil, you may take this ring and place it upon her finger and repeat after me.
I want to have that Come on, Peggy. Come on, Peggy. Come on, Peggy. Come on, Peggy. Get your hand down. All right, here we go. Hold hands. 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 Charlie, I hope you're watching this. I hope you're watching your boy get beat up. Bring that case by the Just door. Just the girls get to get in for the bouquet. You get to get in for the garter and the girls can't. What's the garter? Is it up there?